I can hear some rather disturbing noises coming from next door. <laughs> Let's go and have a look, see what Becky's up to. By hecky, Becky, what are you doing? Riffing and part the van. Why? Because <laughs> I've decided to take this cupboard out so that there's more headroom and uh, it will just make it easier for manoeuvring in the bedroom area. Alright. And also, <laughs> I'm going to be fitting a gas hob here permanently and it's too close for the heat as well so yeah I'm making a couple of changes so I'm a little bit sad but it's all right it's all good thank you Adju for helping me build this <laughs> but uh, yeah we're just going to keep the one side of the three but taking out these two and it's just going to open it up and make a huge difference so yeah wished I'd done this first and not been too over eager with the storage because once you put the mattress in, there's not a lot of headroom and I didn't think that through enough. I actually, the cabinets were the first thing that I built in the van once I'd finished all the cladding. So I would always say, start from the floor up, not the top down. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get this out, aren't we? Or at least I'm going to hope that Mel will help me now. Of course I will, so now you've woken me up. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought I'd get on and do some stuff. But yeah, we're going to make some changes and uh, it will be even better than it was before. Well, there you go. I better put the camera away. Yeah, get on and help. <laughs> and start helping. I'll come back to you in a minute <laughs> and update you with our progress. Yeah. It's starting to rain as well. Right. But first, I'm going back in the dryer. Coffee. Coffee? Yeah, coffee. Sounds like a good idea to me. Oh, stop moving. Right, momentous occasion. Look at that. Literally just fallen apart. <laughs> oh, how have I done that then? How have I got those in like that? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember how I did that. Oh, never mind. All will be revealed when it. Oh, it's loose. It's alright. It's free. Okay, final bit. So I'll probably do all this now and then I'll be like, oh, I freaking love my van now. Let's stay in it. <laughs> well, I thought that that was going to take ages to pull apart. But apparently not. I love me a bit of bracket. <laughs> okay. holding it up. <laughs> uh, how am I going to get that out? I'm going to have to do that from outside I think. Time for me to put the camera down and get involved. <laughs> I need him a little bit. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just a little bit. She's a very independent lady for sure. Unless it does just No, no, down. it's screwed in from behind. You need some outside help. Okay. I think I don't have to fall off of this. I've done my bit. <laughs> yeah, that was nice and easy. Thank you, darling. 
Ow, that's my head. You're oh, right. yeah, I've got it. <laughs> that's all right, don't worry. All this wood off and get all the Give Rebecca a thumbs up. I think she's done an amazing job. Amazing job at making a mess, yeah. Whilst Rebecca is busily sanding away and making this area all good, <laughs> she's put me in charge of fitting the gas hob. This is exactly the same as the one I've got in my van. Because she likes it so much, she wants one in her van, see? Uh, for sexy. those sceptics among you, Rebecca did pay for this. Just because we're YouTubers, we don't get everything given to us for free. No. Somebody left a comment in one of my videos about that. So, uh, yeah, this isn't this most. isn't a paid promotion. No. Rebecca did buy this. Although, she very kindly used one of my links. So in a roundabout way, I kind of got a little bit of commission for the sale. From, from me, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. I appreciate you using my eBay. Was it eBay or Amazon? eBay. eBay, yeah. I got this on eBay. The nice thing about these stoves, they do actually supply you with a template. Unlike the more expensive... I'm not going to my name names, unlike the more expensive camper van stoves, you don't get a template. But I did make a video on how to make templates for stoves. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up there. <laughs> so this is in fact a domestic hob with flame safety failure cutout device on it. But it has been re-jetted so you can use it on the LPG. And it does have a 240 volt uh, electronic ignition. My one, I use my Jackery, which is under my bed, to power my ignition. Is it the same as mine? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Yeah, well done. Alright, now let's find the gas connector because a lot of people on my video ask what gas fitting I use. It actually comes in the box, but it is hidden amongst the polystyrene. This is the connector that comes with it. As you can see, it's designed for 8mm LPG orange pipe. Although you do have to heat the pipe up in boiling water to get it to fit over there, because this nozzle is a little bit oversized. But that's good, because you know it's not going to leak. And here's the stove itself. And inside the box, they provide you with orange pipe. And not only do they give you orange pipe, they give you a gas fitting as well for your gas bottle. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, everything's in the box. I didn't realise that. But I've had my stove now for a good two years and faultless, absolutely fault. Can't fault it at all. Yeah, it's really simple design as well, easy to keep clean. The real nice thing that I like about this is the low profile. It fits inside your top, you can still have a drawer underneath. Rebecca has come up with a really good idea, and that is to put the, the, the knobs, or the control knobs, here like this, up against this surface, giving it a wider gap between the, the bulkhead here and the actual grill itself, so there's less chance of any flame damage. Or heat fire, transfer. In other words, there's less risk of fire yeah. if, the, if the, the ring is further away from that little bit of a bulkhead. So we're going to have it this way round for that reason. <laughs> Whilst I've been doing that, Rebecca has done an amazing job. I'm not going to fit the hob yet until she's finished up there in case any paint drips on it.
Yeah. We don't want to do that. No, especially since it's nice and shiny new. Well, Rebecca's finally finished painting and making it all good, and it does look really nice. So now that's all finished, I can carry on fitting the gas hob. Now, for those of you that are wondering why I ended up having to cut two pieces of work surface off, the reason for this is because Rebecca used a chest of drawers from Ikea to make her cabinets from. She simply put the chest of drawers there and then put a work surface on top, and it worked out really well and ready-made, nice and simple drawers. So it was a really simple and easy way to get drawers in her camper van. She's put one here and she's put one this side as well where the sink is. I think it's a brilliant idea. So here's the hob and to fit these hobs is really, really simple. It really is. Once you've cut the hole in your work surface where you want it to go, on the underside of these you'll see four holes, one in each corner, one at each end I should say. And these clips simply screw using these holes and that clamps the hob down to the work surface and the gas is really simple as well they come supplied with this gas fitting and you just simply slide your orange pipe over and jubilee clip it into place now there is a lot of debate whether or not it's safe to use orange pipe i've looked it up and apparently you can use up to one meter of orange pipe to connect your gas stove inside a camper van and these stoves actually come with um, just over a metre of orange pipe and I'll get it out of the box a necessary LPG gas fitting as well so you could actually put the stove into place have your orange pipe and your LPG tank and it's directly underneath the stove which is what a lot of people do just remember to put a gas drop out below your gas bottle now to fit this orange pipe to the stove the easiest way to do it is actually get some boiling water and dip this in some boiling water and then that way it will slide nicely over this fitting and then you can secure it in place using a jubilee clip and it just so happens i've got some eggs on the boil in my van so once my eggs are finished boiling i'll carry on fitting this stove We'll have a nice egg salad later. Perfect. Perfect timing. <laughs> now I'm going to take this boiling water next door and use it to fit Rebecca's gas stove. How's that for efficiency? that plenty of time to warm up the hotter it is the easier it'll be to slide over sorry about my glasses going dark it's because it's quite a sunny day for once and because I'm stepping in and out of the vans my glasses turn to sunglasses Just like that. And I did remember to put the Jubilee clip over the pipe. Saying that, I did forget to bring a screwdriver with me. Now because that pipe has been expanded under heat, once I put it over that cold fitting, it will then retract and make a really good seal and there's no way that is going to leak. In fact, once that's gone cold, I bet you'd have to cut that off to get it off. Right, now all I need is the clips. I almost forgot to put the rubber trim around the underside edge. Oopsie. This is just to stop any, like if you spill any fat or anything, it stops it going underneath. I forgot to put it on. Right, so now I've put the rubber strip all the way around. 
it's really a simple matter of getting it around the right way. Hopefully we twisted the pipe. Check, no. These back clips, put them out so they're sticking out like that. Then that way you can slide it down and underneath. Like that. And then these ones, put them so they're horizontal. There she goes, look at that. Lovely. Got a little bit of wiggle room so we can get it where we want it. And I think we want it as far that way as possible to allow the gas pipe to go underneath. And there you are, it really is as simple as that. Just a matter of sliding it down, laying it down, and now all I've got to do is do up those four screws from underneath, and that's it. That's our gas hob fitted. It really is as simple as that. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Right. Let's do those screws up and then we'll try it out. This is just a little close up there of the clips, you can see how they work. They simply go across and you can see it's like a, it's like a clamp and it clamps up holding the stove down. This pipe needs to be fixed in a more permanent manner at the back here. I'll need to put some clips in there along with the cable as well. Right, let's put the top together and try it out, make sure it works. <laughs> Okay, the gas is connected, the power's connected. I'm using the good old jack to get the 240 thing to work. It's working. That one's working. What will it light? Cut that straight away. This one. <laughs> there you go. It works. Brilliant, that is. I think Rebecca's going to have plenty of room to cook on here. So I think she's going to be really pleased with that. It's all working. Oh look, here comes Becky now. Come in here, love. Have a look at this. Oh, well you have fixed it. Yeah, try it. What, with the... Yeah, yeah try it. Oh, no, I've got some. <laughs> Take two. Try it. Oh, hey. Did you manage to connect it with yeah, that? Yeah, it's all done. Oh, well done. You happy? Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. There that's you go. Awesome. Becky's at me. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and we'll see you very soon. Ta-da for now. You've got the lens cap on. <laughs> <laughs>